My name's Melissa Gould-Drakeley and I'm um, the Dean of Studies and the, a teacher of Indonesian at MacArthur Anglican School and currently I teach uh, Year 7 and Year 9 Indonesian. In light of what we're trying to achieve in this unit, which is it's a very strong unit on intercultural and on friendship and the idea of, you know, um, friends exchanging personal information and asking about friends, does this task itself actually fit within the unit? Is it something that we say, yes, we like this task and we have to tweak it and maybe work out ways to explicitly unpack the intercultural? The assessment task that we had set up um, was actually a task that had been set up for a previous unit just on small talk. And so we'd altered it slightly to try and um, make the intercultural stronger. And what we were looking at in the evaluation of the unit was, has the unit actually worked? Has it been a strong intercultural unit? Has that been successful and do we need to do something else? And has the task itself worked and has it actually um, you know, shown us um, the outcomes that we were hoping to achieve, um, both linguistically but also interculturally? And, and I think my intention was to, you know, when I talked to Joe, I really wanted that whole idea of friendship and what we'd been doing, like, it seemed like a term to actually do that, but it just didn't work. But the feedback from the students is saying, we really like this task. Yeah. It's a really good task, the I task think. It's valuable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so you think it's valuable? Yeah. Yeah. So I asked them um, a few questions like, um, I wanted them to think about, you know, well, where would you meet? So they've internalised the fact of what Indonesians ask, but at this point they still were thinking that they could quite easily ask, what's your name and how are you? Because it's what they ask. Until we started unpacking it and having conversations about, well, actually you're interacting with an Indonesian. So if you want that conversation to be authentic and to be a true interaction, would you use something that you would use with an Australian or would you use something that you would use with an Indonesian? Having student data is really worthwhile because now I know that the students actually really enjoyed the task, they were really engaged in doing the task. Um, more than that, I know that they actually have an intercultural knowledge and some of them more than that, an intercultural understanding. How do you build a relationship? So how do you make contact with someone so that you can keep that friendship going? That was a really good idea you had about um, the flat Stanleys. Can you tell me about that again? In the context of the friendship unit, what I was thinking was that um, our bridge school could send us photographs, face shots of all of their students, mm. and we turn it into a puppet. And so the students are actually writing about a real person as if, the, and they can build a friendship with this person because <laughs> they can have their details yeah. because they are a real person and yeah. their hobbies yeah. and take photos of them doing things with them and then... So either, like having breakfast or... Yeah, or um, going yeah. through what we've found, they're at the beach, they're at the cafe, they're at the cinema. So this is my friend, oh, bowling yeah. place. this is my friend That's City. A, oh, yeah. And City and I went to, so we're bringing in all of the places, and they can even describe cities. City, how would you describe yourself? And then they can be recycling all of that by creating a PowerPoint presentation. And then they can ask another, they can say, oh, this is my friend, and you know. Whether it's a task or not, I think they'd really enjoy taking this little person around and taking photos of them at the, at the bioscop and the warung and the restaurant. I think that would be really cool. Mm. Um, and it's an ongoing assessment. Yeah, so, so it becomes more of an assessment. Yeah for learning and mm. we still give them the feedback and it's more a motivational task. I mean Definitely. if we gave them the info at the start of the unit then their role play could be about meeting that person for oh, the first time. That's a great idea. And then we follow it up with well now your and friend because, is hanging out with you. And because it's mm. then a real person mm. then they really have the impetus to really make sure they get the intercultural right. I think it's um, a really valuable process to evaluate a unit of work, especially straight after you've taught it, um, with colleagues because you actually get other people's perceptions on whether something worked or didn't work and then you can collaborative work at you know what your future direction will be. Certainly from this one we were able to establish um, the fact that we had made the intercultural very strong in the unit um, and that the task itself, while it didn't necessarily match with what our intentions were, it was a very valuable task and what we need to do is to tweak it um, and in particular we need to actually go back and change the marking criteria um, and also think about how we would set up the task prior to administering it 
and also set up some more time for reflective process with our students afterwards.